One of the most popular uh, iterations of SCP-106, The Old Man, is a story on the wiki, a tale called The Young Man. Today I want to talk about how that and other things relating to SCP-106 uh, kind of ruin the potential of it as a horror monster. So let's talk a little bit about SCP-106. So, first of all, for those who don't know, the SCP-106 is an entity that is all black, covered in oil. There'll be a picture on the screen here. Um, but yeah, it's all black, covered in an oily substance that's corrosive. Uh, it can pass through solid material, and when it does, it corrodes them. If it reaches into a person, it can corrode a person, which is, you know, bad. In the end, SCP-106 is a monster. That's its purpose. Uh, it's Series 1, obviously, being 106. And a lot of Series 1 SCPs are purely just horror monsters or monster manual entries. What makes it interesting, what makes people want to see more about it, is that it is... What's the best way to put this? undefined there's a lot of mystery about it and when people talk about series one stuff in comparison to future articles oftentimes they'll complain that there's the mystery is gone somehow or that the mystery of the story in a series three four or five article is absent and therefore it's worse <laughs> what they miss i think is that and i've mentioned this before that series three four and five and some series two articles uh, kind of depend on their narrative because they can't expect you to read any of the 5,000 SCP tales that are out there. Whereas back when SCP-106 was first written, there were maybe a dozen, two dozen, at worst, 50 tales on the entire site. And it was possible for you to read all of them pretty quickly. But the young man is probably the most influential piece about scp 106 and the young man tells a story of a messed up kid on the front lines of world war one and i was thinking a little bit about this because i'm doing a D, D campaign in eberron which has got a sort of a world war one uh vert thing that just finished up so i was thinking a lot about world war one and it got me thinking about scp 106 and of course got me thinking about the young man tale but yeah in this story the young man is already a very troubled or even possibly slightly anomalous dude who goes over to some other location, I think German trenches, and falls into some sort of anomalous goo and turns into what, what he eventually becomes. And part of the problem with the young man's story is that it kind of gives you most of the answers as to what's going on with the old man when i think of horror and i'm not personally a huge fan of horror but my favorite things are generally when you don't show the monster or at least not at first i think um what's it uh, a quiet place which is another horror movie about a monster essentially i mean it it's about the characters too but the core monster is your fear it's the thing on the out on the other side you know over here just off frame whispering clawing gonna reach in and get you it but once it reaches in once you see it fully it loses most of its mystique now it did better be about your characters or your horror monster is no longer important and i think the young man screws up the story of the old man in that exact way because you're no longer questioning what's going on with the, it's just like with uh, SCP-049 when people constantly want to know what you know what it, what is it trying to cure what is the pestilence if you actually answer these questions the character becomes less interesting and it allows for less interpretation but the problem is is that the SCP wiki is a collective writing site there's just so many people available. It's like with the Little Misters catalog. When they created the list, there's probably no expectations that it would be filled out. But when you have thousands of people wanting to write for the SCP Wiki and they see the list and they get inspired, it's going to get filled out. And so 
people want to do their own explanations of it and then certain explanations of it become particularly popular and then people go well that's the answer that's what the old man is but it's not that's the problem here the story of the young man that you know uh the old man was uh, a soldier in world war one and that he fell into a pit of some sort of black corrosive material that turned him into what he is now nah doesn't have to be true. That's the joy of the, uh, the other half of being a collaborative writing side. Just because something is particularly popular doesn't mean it has to be your version of the thing. I could write a tale right now in which he's not that at all. Has no origins in that whatsoever. And to be honest with you, if I write a tale about the old man, I'm probably not going to include much about his... Uh, or if I write one for myself, anyway. Probably not going to write a whole lot about his origin. Because his origin doesn't matter. This is like with SCP-5000. And I talked about this... When SCP-5000 was becoming a thing, like, the question of why. So? You've got your story already. You don't need to answer the question why. Asking is fine, honestly. But actually answering the question, that's a whole other matter. And the thing about the old man is that, like I said, like, it's, it's made to be the monster just off screen. Because it has its own little portal. It could make a hole in the wall at any time. It could go through solid objects. It could also just create a portal underneath you and you would sink into it. That's its strength. The less you know about it, the better it is. But so many people, and especially new writers and or like new fans of the site, the first thing they want to do is explain away what makes the articles work. And I just... I just wanted to make a point about how that doesn't work anymore. Like, and, and and to be fair, even in an SCP article in the later, like, you know, three, four and five, that you don't explain everything, obviously. I mean, we just had SCP 5000, which was a little mystery. The whole point of most of those articles was that there's a mystery that's unsolved. That's fine. That engages a reader and keeps them interested. And when it comes to a horror monster like the old man, you want to leave the reader without that knowledge. Because if you try and give it to them, you're just going to ruin your own story. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. It's critically important that you hit the subscribe button. Because if you don't, how am I supposed to know if people like the content? And after you're done with that, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Vivi and Dr. J Redacted, who have both pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I'll see you all again on Tuesday.